Hey Margaret, so you told me you were thinking about doing a vlog. Well, I thought I'd beat you to the punch. So hopefully the name I'm planning for this I can still grab on YouTube. I'm thinking like vlog friend zero and then you'll have to pick like one or some other number along down the line. Or you could go for 42. But uh... Or 69, that'd be hilarious. Now, um, I don't know, it was something I thought about doing for a while, but it's like I never really gave myself the time to do it. Plus, uploading from my house is a pain because of the speed of the network, but I won't go into that. So I was like, well, what should I talk about? Well, I thought I'd talk about Doctor Who, which is something we're both into. You got into it because I got you into it. Um, so, I was thinking about it. I was thinking of the 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 recent doctors nine through. Well, it's it's now to the twelfth doctor, who's technically the thirteenth regeneration. Is that right? Well, we have. Ninth Doctor is technically the Tenth Doctor. Tenth Doctor regenerates twice. And, yeah, let's not do regeneration math. But I was thinking, uh, Christopher Eccleston, the Ninth Doctor, his, his entire timeline exists around Rose and the whole Bad Wolf. Um, he only was around for one season, and he only wanted to be around one season. Then we go on to David Tennant. Uh, Tennant, his, the entire timeline of Tennant exists on prophecies. Um, there's a prophecy that gets told about what's going to happen to Rose. There's uh, one of the Daleks that ends up putting himself in the time war to save uh, Davros he gives a prophecy uh, Donna's mixed up in prophecies and then you have the end of time prophecy which deals with the time lords and the possible death of the doctor <clears throat> of course he lives and he regenerates and David Tennant turns into Matt Smith uh, but then you, you go through Matt Smith's timeline it all exists upon paradoxes paradoxes and paradoxes and paradoxes um because you reach the end of the first series and you find out everything that happens with amelia is being constructed and based around uh the destruction of the universe and then they blow it up and it resets and everything's fine after that uh, then we also find out that River Song is entirely a temporal paradox that exists in a sort of circle that circles around the Doctor as well. Of course, we knew Tenth Doctor meets her when she dies, and then we see her again in the Eleventh. I'm sure there are people that were afraid you were never going to see her again, but... Of course, we see her again, and we go through everything with her, find out her entire paradox, uh, the paradoxes that cause uh, so many things with Amelia and Rory to happen. Uh, then we have uh, Clara, who exists because she exists multiple times along the Doctor's timeline because she hopped into the tear of uh, essentially the doctor's gravestone and uh, but that creates an even bigger paradox because then we have uh, what day, day of the doctor where we have uh, the the war doctor the unspoken regeneration and he uh 
and they do a complete paradox of saving Gallifrey instead of destroying it. But then we, we get one more huge paradox, which creates a huge paradox around the timeline of Clara and how she can save the Doctor. Cause she Technically, she can't jump into that tear to save him anymore, because that, that grave site doesn't exist anymore. Because she convinced the Time Lords to help him regenerate, which creates an enormous paradox. He's already seen his own gravesite. You're never supposed to go see your own gravesite. Because it's, it's, if you watch the movie Looper, it's this idea that you're closing a loop. But that, that's a movie that has a whole bunch of paradoxes, too. Um, and nothing, nothing is resolved with that. I mean, um, you see effects of paradoxes in Doctor Who sometimes. Uh, time is rewritten and people forget stuff and other people still remember and then there's weird I kind of remember that's weird and it's uh, Rory actually you know the angels tried to lock Rory into his timeline by forcing him to see himself die that was how the angels locked they closed a loop of course Rory throws himself off a building to poison the entire loop um uh, because they can't kill him, kill his future self if he's already dead. And if he throws himself off a building, they can't catch him and force him back into the loop. But it makes me wonder how they're going to do the 12th Doctor's timeline because uh, Matt Smith had a lot of, uh, a lot of paradoxes. Uh, even one of the Christmas specials, the, uh, I can't even remember what it's called, but uh, he goes back, you know, you have this guy that he's essentially like Scrooge and stuff, and so the Doctor goes back in his timeline and essentially becomes his uh, <laughs> pseudo-babysitter type mentor type deal and changes his entire timeline and he's watching this old film of his timeline and it's like but that didn't happen but it did and so his entire memories are being rewritten as he watches as it's, it's it's quite quite confounding when you try to map it out in your head it's just something to think about and something i think that uh, you'd enjoy to consider, especially, I, I don't know. I just had to get it out there. Talk to you later, Margaret.